Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope you've had a good week. I want to thank all of you patrons on Patreon. Uh, we're up to 14 people now, and that is incredibly gratifying, and uh, it means a great deal to me that you guys like what we're doing enough to, to give us your hard-earned money, however much that is. Um, it really is appreciate, appreciated. And um, if you are interested in becoming a supporter of the show, uh, click the link in the description. Um, you know, we, you get to see every episode a day before anybody else. And uh, after your second payment, we'll send you a t-shirt. Um, and uh, we're working on like a Google Hangout that we do every month starting after the new year for patrons. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on over there. The Average Joe t-shirts are still on sale. You can click that link in the description. If you live in the U.S., then you have until Monday, this Monday, or upcoming Monday, December 13th. And by 13th, I mean 15th. Monday, December 15th, if you want to get it by Christmas. Uh, they have been selling well, and I'm really glad. And just know that when you buy a shirt, not only are you going to look super awesome, but you're also supporting the show and, and everything that we're doing and, and keeping us afloat. So check those out. You have until Monday. Um, I'm looking a little haggard just because, uh, oof, really fighting the urge to not just uh, call it a day for the year. I am definitely burned out. Um, you know, shockingly, putting out a new video every week to the degree that we do involving all the actors and everything else is definitely uh, challenging. I, I say that as we're, we're six weeks into our every Wednesday um, goal. And uh, it's going well though. It's definitely very rewarding. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this past week's video, Don't Fuck With Shorty McNuggets, part one. If you haven't watched it yet, um, click the button to do so. Um, we had a really great time working with Dang Matt Smith. He's he's a really talented guy, and uh, this uh, this short was a lot of fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed part two coming next week. We wrapped a shoot yesterday that I think is going to be pretty funny. Um, and uh, last night I went to a YouTube event called Tubathon, put on by the great folks at What's Trending. Uh, probably an easier way to do this, but here's a nice little holiday photo that we took, me and Lee and our friend Alex, who's also been on the show. Um, so that was a lot of fun. That was, it was a good kind of networking thing, and I met some other YouTubers, and, um, you know, that's, it's not my natural habitat, going to the parties and the sort of schmoozing and all that stuff. It doesn't come naturally to me. Uh, um, usually with big groups, I think I sort of just become isolated and try and find some sort of kindred spirit to, to talk to. And, um, thankfully I did. I found some, some really good people that I'm hoping to collaborate with. So I'm glad I went and, uh, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I'd be headed home in a couple weeks, in a, like a week back to Ohio and I'm really excited to get home and just kind of unwind. Uh, I do want to shoot something in Columbus, maybe after Christmas, uh, just with some of my old friends. I think it'd be a good time. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I mentioned last week that we're going to be doing a promo for Welcome to Forever, which was the feature film that uh, I wrote and directed with Patrick Fogarty and acted in. Um, yeah, right after the new year, we'll have a, a thing where, you know, a uh, promo code for the first 200 people that enter the code, they can watch the movie for free. And all we ask is that if you enjoyed it, you help spread the word about it so other people can watch it. Um, that's a movie I'm really proud of, and it is it is more of a dramatic piece. Um, and uh, with some comedic elements in there, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, it's something I'm really uh, proud of. And um, right now we're actually gearing up to uh, shoot another feature that I wrote. I'm not going to direct it, I'm just acting in it. Um, it's also sort of a dramedy. Uh, we're going to be shooting in New York uh, in February. So I'll be in New York for New Year's. We're going to do a read through um, with the cast and crew. And uh, that's really exciting. It's fun to do projects outside of Average Joe from time to time and, and sort of flex a different muscle. And um, it's going to be really nice not directing that as well. So I can kind of just focus on acting, which to me is the, the most fun, um, and let a good buddy of mine sort of handle all the directing responsibilities. That's kind of what's going on in my neck of the woods. Um, let's answer some questions. Jake Mail TV, what's up, man? Um, wants to know how Series 3 writing and editing is going. Uh, it's going pretty well. Last weekend, I, I went, I drove down to San Diego for a night and stayed with some family. Um, 
just to kind of get away from LA and really focus on uh, outlining season three. I have a general idea of where the season's going. Um, it's looking like it's going to be 14 episodes this season. And um, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be, you're going to see some continued growth in the character. Um, and, you know, we're hoping to get all sorts of fun cameos. Um, really how the cameo thing works for me is that every episode I try and and figure out an organic way to incorporate some crazy character. And I don't know who's going to play it yet, but I try to have a cameo part in every episode. And then once the episodes are written, then we can kind of figure out like, okay, who would be great in this? Who would be great in that? And then we kind of approach people that way. So um, that's been part of the challenge too of outlining is just figuring out different, you know, interesting parts that, uh, that people can play. So... Um, I think it's going to be it's going to be different from season two and one, um, while also retaining some of the elements that that make Average Joe what it is. Um, and uh, I really don't have any details, but it is coming along nicely. Lonnie B wants to know if I've had a really bad fan moment and or a great fan moment. Um, I've been really lucky to not have any bad fan moments. Yeah, anytime I've met anybody in person, it's. It's been a really gratifying experience, I think, for me and hopefully for them. I've talked about it before, but for me, it's always kind of getting out of my own head because I feel like as soon as somebody recognizes me, then, you know, I, I don't want them to be disappointed by the interaction. So I, <laughs> um, I always try and just be as, as pleasant as I can and appreciative as I can. And that's not an act. I really am appreciative. But, you know, you want to make sure that people... Um, enjoy meeting you. Ketchup1185 wants to know, cats or dogs? Dogs. I grew up with dogs. I love dogs. Uh, to me, there's uh, nothing better than just having an animal living in your house that is instantly excited to see you as soon as you walk in the door. And uh, there's just an amount of love that a, a dog brings to a family that I think is fantastic. Having said that, cats are cool too. Um, their independent nature to me sort of suggests, I can't help but like just ask why do I need this cat here who pretends like it doesn't care about me? And maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not pretending. Um, you gotta work harder for the affection of a cat, which to me I'm just lazy. I, I, I like the, I like the love that a dog brings. Cats are cool, dogs are better. R.E. Miss X Silver Ban X. <laughs> I, I butchered that. Uh, wants to know if uh, I'd ever have a guest writer on the show or a contest for fans to write a skit. It would be nice to have uh, other people involved. So um, if you do have an idea, send it to this email address and, um, you know, no promises that we'll use it. But if we do, we'll certainly give you credit for it. Um, that would be a fun thing to explore. I'd love to see what you guys bring to the table and any fun ideas that you might have. Everyone wants to know what my take on legislation of weed is. Uh, I think it should be legal. Absolutely. Hands down. It is absurd how many people are in jail for selling or smoking weed uh, or eating weed, I guess. I prefer edibles the, the few times that I uh, have partook in the weed. Um, I just get too stupid and in my head. Like, I just, I feel like the day is wasted. I, I marvel at friends who can, like, smoke weed in the morning and then go about their day and be productive. <coughs> to me, it's like the, the only time that I can really get down on some weed is if I'm, like, at the beach or something, and then I'll just eat an edible and stare at the ocean for hours. The last time I did it, I think, was when we released season two, and I went to the beach, had a brownie, looked at waves, and then we went and saw RoboCop. And it was amazing. So, to me, there's there's way too many other crimes going on to be spending money on having inmates in jail for weed. I think it's crazy, it's ridiculous, and the government can tax the shit out of it. So, everybody could win. I think it's really only a matter of time. Miss Amber V, I think I got that right, wants to know if I eat mac and cheese every day, because um, I say that at the end of all the Joe Talks. Uh, I don't. Um... I do have it more than the average person, no doubt, but especially given that I am still training for a marathon, uh, mac and cheese is probably not the best thing to eat every day. So to me, I say that more just as a, an expression to sort of enjoy the little moments in your day, the temporary things that bring you 
a bit of happiness. And I've never been bummed out while eating mac and cheese. So that's really what that means. Having said that, I probably will have some today. All right, guys, that is it for Joe Talks this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will get to them next week where I will be broadcasting from Ohio. Very exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting home to see the family. Um, but yeah, have a great weekend. Click the links, support us so we can keep on making you laugh. And uh, I'm going to go eat some mac and cheese.